Yesterday we left Mexico, um, entered Belize, entered Guatemala, so we crossed two international borders with the car, importing the car every stage, um, successfully within one day. And this morning we are in Tikal, <laughs> super early. So we are really happy, so it's gonna be a great day. I think one of the best things here is we, we got here at 7 a.m. and there's there's barely anyone. I mean, we met a few people, but it's really really quiet. I think it's one of the uh, the most quiet site you know we went to. Although it's the number one, uh, the, the most visited site in uh, in Guatemala. So it's really great to get here early, and the temperatures are really bearable. I mean, it's probably 26 or 27 degrees Celsius, which is definitely uh, fine. So, so far it's really great experience. This is where we spend the night on the uh, small island of Flores in Guatemala and we parked in front of this Salon Social San Nicte which looks very innocent at first but there was a massive party yesterday night and there was a local school that celebrated a birthday and there were hundreds of teenagers partying here. Um, you could literally feel the whole car shaking and vibrating with the basses. Um, so we were really glad when the music stopped up to the point where they started to dismantle all the light, light sets and all the, uh, all the stage that they had set up for the, uh, the party, which means more banging, more noise um, in really hot weather. But anyway, that's, that's what happens when you park on the streets but we're really happy that we're here it's a beautiful small island it's very neat it reminds us a bit of europe um, and we're going to walk a bit around before the heat um, starts to uh, to rise So far the impressions of Guatemala are very good. Um, the crossing of the border was super slow. Um, it was funny because the guy that helped us do the importation of the vehicle seemed to be... It, I had the impression that he was doing an internship or something because he didn't seem to know exactly what he was doing. Um, but nevertheless we, we got through and in terms of warmth, I mean the people are probably as warm as in Mexico, I, I don't notice much much of a difference. Um, one thing that we notice is the prices. Um, we find it a lot more expensive than Mexico for some things, so 
typically when we travel we try to please the kids um, to and take them to slides or to playgrounds and whenever there's no playgrounds we try to look for a Domino's, a Pizza Hut or McDonald's that have the, uh, the big slides inside and yesterday we went to Pizza Hut and the Pizza Hut was, I think we paid 150 for like a large pizza and a, pitch, uh, a pitcher of uh, iced tea and 150 quetzal would be, I need to do the conversion I think it would be like 15, roughly 15 euros or 15 USD whilst in Mexico, I know it's not the same restaurants but in Mexico you go to Domino's um, and if you take a large pizza and pretty much the same stuff, I mean you pay about 150 pesos which is 150 pesos would be, I don't know, something like seven dollars. Um, so with these regards, I mean, it was a lot more expensive. Same thing when we buying some uh, snacks or um, to the supermarket, some the, the overall groceries seem to be very expensive. So it could be just the north of the country. And then we see if, if we get something more reasonable. Do we have nice smelling clothes for nice smelling people? Yeah, changing different word but same thing. We call it bump in the US, dope in Mexico, in Guatemala it's tumulos. Yeah. Same feeling when it bumps our car. Up. Same feeling. Oh. 